Hello, I'm driving an EV in the UK and today we are going to talk about car insurance. Yes, a topic that many people don't like because sometimes their car insurance is massive and the thing comes is that it can be if you don't take really proper steps to work on getting it at the best cheapest price so with that I had to renew my car insurance my current provider turned around and said that this year it would be 460 pound to insure my car last year I think if I am right it was something like 440 uh, because that seems to be the amount of money that I divided by to put away weekly and that's the target that I had was 440 so it had to have been somewhere around the 440 mark so just in case you're wondering on that um, I pay for my insurance as a lump sum and then during the year I put money away every month and keep it in the bank to cover the following year's car insurance which means I don't end up with a big massive 400 quid bill in any month and then wonder where I'm going to find the money to pay it. So I put away money monthly. You can do it weekly if you want. It makes no difference. Just divide how much your current bill is. Add a little bit on just in case and then divide that by 52 and that's how much you need to put away a week. And then you just say, I never use that because that's the cover car insurance one simple and easy thing then you never end up with a massive bill and then wonder how to pay it but let's get back to my car insurance wanting 460 pound now I thought mm, no that doesn't sound quite right my car's a year older and normally when the car gets a year older the insurance becomes a little cheaper so um, I of course did a comparison uh, with the little meerkats so um, I don't want to push just that one site I would use all of the compare sites and put your details in because some of them may have the same companies with it but some do have some different ones and therefore but I was looking for exactly the same cover as I had last year this year which is fully comprehensive and about 10,000 miles travelled but some of them don't take any notice of that um, also uh, a low around the £200 mark for excess so with that I did a search and I came across Aviva uh, which was doing an EV um, policy and I said I'm just going to have you. I'm not even going to bother going back to my previous one and saying, look, I can get over here for this price. Are you going to do something and come down and match it? Because the difference was just too big. And there is no way that my previous one would come down by the amount of money that the Aviva policy was going to be for. Exactly the same cover, exactly the same everything. Nothing changed. So, how much was my Aviva? Now, don't forget, my car is three year old, going on to nearly four sometime this year. But I've got my policy now, instead of £460 that they wanted to charge me with my current provider, I got the Aviva quote with exactly the same cover for £360. A £100 saving or £80 cheaper than last year's quote for my car this year. And yes, that is what happens. There is a jump down for the beginning couple of years where it will go down by quite a big jump. Um, I'm probably, there may be a jump next year maybe of 50 unless the price has increased by an amount. Because normally the first five, six years there is jumps down and then it stays fairly stable where you might get a five or ten pound um, come down in price but it gets to a point where the price doesn't really move because the age of the car 
and therefore the value of the car is the same and it doesn't matter how much older it gets that's just the policy or you'll be paying nothing if you keep the car long enough so my point to you is simple you need to look directly at your insurance quote you must not accept whatever quote you are given even if it's cheaper than what it was last year you need to still compare all the quotes from anywhere and see if anybody else is gonna offer to get your business a better deal and you might find even if your quote is really cheap that there is someone else if of course it isn't and they have given you the best deal because they want to keep you then take the deal straight away do not wait for the time that your policy is coming to an end take it out even if it is a month before your expiry date because don't forget your policy with the new company will only start on the date when your previous policy ends so as long as you know that date give that date as the date you want your new policy to start then you can do it a month before and that will give you the best price because the more distance there is between you looking and you get getting your old policy to run out the bigger the saving will be and the closer you get the less the saving will be until it becomes immensely expensive and it will be dearer than what the quote you physically seen was and you'll be worse off so you can take out any quote or get any quote on a car which is expiring 28 days before your insurance runs out it's always a good idea if you have your insurance quote and you know it's going to run out say it's going to run out in august then i can look in july on this date put that into your contact on your phone uh, on a reminder and get it to flash up to you con 28 days car insurance will we do the same for your mot things like that but always check more than one do not just accept what you are being offered is the best price so with that please like comment share subscribe i will see you on the next video bye for now